Good evening again folks. We're at 3 p.m. at the moment. What I have here is the other wheel with the new pulley that came in today. It is a Chicago 14 inch pulley. What I have here is a makeup shaft. Obviously you can see it's, it's hollow. With the plastic from Instamorph. Great product. Heat it up to 150 degrees in water, form it by hand, let it cool, it'll harden up. As you can see, it's hard. And I have it down in here as a spacer. It saves me 10 to 20 bucks from buying it made out of metal. And what I have is the shaft going all the way through so I can align this pulley onto the wheel. I used again the three inch screws and the reason I picked these locations is hoping. The, this is a zinc pulley and when they casted the zinc the cast fill holes happen to be in these locations which let me put the screws in so get a view back from it and it's a decent location in the wheel it's look at it this way and it's about half half the thickness so the nice thing is it's just a about a one eighth inch hole and the screw here show you the, the screw so there's a screw in its entirety so obviously there's a decent amount to bite on and height wise It's hard holding it with one hand. Obviously it only goes, let's see, let's try to hold it this way. It's roughly about there, so almost all the way through the wheel, which is fine. Not a big deal. But more so, this is the shaft, the 17-4 stainless steel shaft almost as hard as or as strong as titanium yes crazy it's 160,000 pounds tensile strength per inch and we have 12 inches here yeah it's super strong it's super thick super dense and oddly enough it took me about an hour to use a hacksaw try to see if I can get the end on there to cut this in half by hand, just a little hacksaw, just sitting there going away at it. So, this shaft will be put into here, and I made two of these adapters, one for each pulley, and just so these screws don't pull out while under tension on the belt, I'm going to keep the adapter in here, whether it's on center or not, and if I get enough. A down shot of it. It's relatively on center. I had a drill mount by hand. You drill too fast in this stuff, it melts. So lots of sitting there turning the drill press chuck like this to get the drill through it. Eventually it worked. And if I don't need them later on, I can just melt it down, form it into something else, and keep going. I will get you the bag of it real quick. Try to keep it on the crusher thing. Okay, so there's the bag. Instamorph moldable plastic. Reusable, super strong, non toxic. And here's the back. 
So I'll leave that on there for a few seconds. So you can read it. 150 degrees in water. Could be 142. 140 TOO. So, two, like it says, two minutes. Basically, once it turns clear, you can mold it. Take it out with a spoon or a fork or skewer rod, piece of wood, whatever. Whatever you want to use to get it out of the water. I just used a, a real flat, like, pan, saucepan. You can use something thick, just depends on what you're using. They obviously have it shown as like a, a nice bowl or something. So you can remove it with whatever, and right away you can mold it with your hand. And when it starts turning slightly white, that's when it won't stick to stuff, and it will really, really do good. And as you can see, cut and drill. Don't drill with power drill. If you do, go really slow. Seriously, really, really slow. Because once this heats up to 150, all that friction, it'll start to melt. You can cool it down, freezer, fridge, whatever. But the main thing is keep it cool and it will work. So, that's how I made these things. And for the money that I saved, about $9.00. Nine to ten dollars for something that goes from one inch to five eighths that is two inches long. These are just over an inch, they're about an inch and a quarter thick. So, if I really wanted to make it flush on both ends, I would have to have two of those. But I think one inch, cut it in half, just under one inch would work out fine. So, as we can slightly see I'll just spin it like this so we can sort of see oops yeah not so good trying to look at it through the tablet okay so I will spin it looking over the tablet I'll just try that okay now I got the tablet in view of it so let's try this again keep it looking at the top so we are pretty lined up basically it was to try to get everything to be centered so when i mount the pulley onto the wheel it's all centered up well the next video will be having these pillow blocks look through the video tablet here so my center line hole is going to be right here for the pillow blocks let me move this out of the way so yep that was a goof okay that moved the shaft as you can see it moved out a little bit but everything's still good live TV just recorded so anyway there's focus my center line is right there pillow block will be kind of flush as best as I can get it so it'll be flush there and I will take measurements over here from the center line over it would be the same measurements as center line here to here so these will be done good and I already have little divots here from the automatic center punch so if I line stuff up just right I already got little divots there and we can find the divots I've got one here there's a knot, so it's going to be fun to drill through. And there's another divot. Those will be the center parts for mounting the half-inch bolts. 
here's one of the trying to get it staying. So here's one of the stainless steel half inch bolts, nylon lock nut, stainless steel as well. They have it, might as well try it, might as well go for it, might as well do it. So here's the little pile of my stuffs. Get this thing to focus. So, so far so good. And we're getting there. There's the other wheel with the pulley on it. So if I were to put them together, just so you can see them together. Yeah, the pulley on the left was pictured and when I when I bought this one, that's what was pictured. This is what I got. Amazon really needs to update their pictures. Buy one of the products, ship it in-house, take a picture of it, update your stuff. Yeah, to their zillion items that they have. Right. <laughs> Point fact of the matter, under 20 under 30 bucks was like 26 and change, six dollars in shipping, total 26 something out the door. This was hand me down from the family. So I've seen this Chicago style zinc 14 inch pulley only being in a 12 inch and they're asking 60, 70 dollars for it. 14 inch, one inch ID, 26 included shipping out the door not bad there's a box that came in there was no packaging no stuffing or anything and uh, pretty simple but hey if it fits it ships and it works and just from the down look from it old nice shiny new super shiny had to deburr a little bit of it because it is just straight out mold. I'll deburr the whole damn thing all day long. If it means saving a hundred some bucks or even fifty bucks. Alright people. Until next video. Catch you later. And keep crushing.